Hi, I'm Matthias Palmjensen. I'm Swedish, English, French, Catalan, Spanish, everything, everything you want. And I worked for Farfar. I founded an agency called Farfar, very digital, but more than advertising, I would say. Then I've been chief innovation officer globally for McCann or uh, Europe the last uh, year. Uh, Matthias, well, uh, thank you to join us. And uh, I want to know what's your vision about digital development worldwide? What's the, the situation in digital platforms? It's, it's impossible for me because I, if I have a vision I will compete with five billion of people because the vision is out there and I think that's part of the problem because it will be decided by everyone out there because the users actually drives us to different places and, and I think that's the, oh, I like the music in the background and the ladies, I like that, oh that's Mexico, so yeah, thank you for bringing me here. It's much more fun here than it's outside in Cannes, just so you know. No, I think it's, it's, uh, it's difficult, but you have to be on the front line and you have to be part of uh, what's happening, because if you're not, you will do what actually sucks today and do what, what we did five years ago. And what we did five years ago in digital doesn't count today. It's out. What's the, the role of digital pla platforms in communications? I, I, now I say, you know, everyone has a mobile, so the mobile is the interesting part, but it's difficult to pay for advertising in mobile, uh, but it is central to what we do, the communication, because it's the one-to-one -one communication. And the role of digital will be everywhere, so I say, a big idea, you always have a big idea, that's how we work in advertising or in showbiz, even showbiz, because we're part of showbiz, and the big idea, but today, you always have to consider the digital platform. EA means social media and the sharing points and even the digital stuff that happens because people will Instagram it, or Twitter it, or whatever it is. So uh, always with a big idea, think of what digital will bring this. So if you do a TVC, let's say, that's really good. You believe it's good, at least. <laughs> then you have a plan for how it will be shared and how it will go through social media. If you don't have that, you don't think the big idea for real. Then you just believe it will be a TVC and nothing else. They say digital is uh, one of the channels that uh, allows more engagement with the audience and that's why it's the future. Are you agree with this? Yes and no. Uh, I think engagement comes with beautiful stories and sometimes it's difficult to, you know, a banner can't tell a story. Yeah. A print page can tell a story, or a TVC can tell a story, but there are utilities, services, and other stuff in digital that can tell ten times more a beautiful story than a TVC. So it depends upon where you invest your money in digital, actually. In Mexico, there's a situation that we talked about before. Uh, what do you think about Mexico's uh, situation and uh, how we should uh, take it uh, from to, to digital? I think you have a, a fantastic uh, possibility because uh, I've seen Mexican work the last 10 years in, in Cannes and I think maybe you haven't uh, leveraged what you did 10 years ago because there are a couple of great creatives that actually leveraged but then it stopped and I think we have a problem with the monopoly situation you have in Mexico and I, if I was king of Mexico you don't have a king but if I had the money I would do Wi-Fi spots everywhere that will actually give people access to internet and that will make them pay for internet when they're not in Wi-Fi spots. So why don't you do that? In Sweden where I live now, we have Wi-Fi everywhere. You can just, and you know in the US you go into a Starbucks and you have Wi-Fi. So why doesn't that exist? That worries me because it's actually a democracy problem too. And I think uh, it should be for everyone. So if I was the state or the king or the, the, the richest man in Mexico, I would go for that immediately. We have a lot of uh, small uh, enterprises in Mexico. What would, you, what would you say to them about digital? Do you think it's a correct channel for them or is it a, a, a every, everyone a particular situation? No one doubts if I say that digital is the future. No one will say the opposite to me. So we know that digital, whatever that is, is where everything pretty much will be in the future. Maybe 
traditional media will support what happens in digital, but we know that's the future. So not investing in digital is, to be really honest, is stupid, if you know what that means. It's stupid. Just investing the last m amount of money, uh, like 5,000 bucks on, on digital, like we did in the 1900s, it's stupid. We should go, that should be in the front line, that should be the discussion. What do we want, it, what, what do we want to happen in digital? Where do we want to be as a brand? And how do we want to be perceived as a brand in the future? Because brands is about the future. I don't look back, I look on the other way. So I think it's, you know, the, the best investment you can do is to invest in digital, especially when others don't. So if others don't, then you have a fantastic possibility so now in Mexico is the time to invest in digital, actually.